Good afternoon. How you doing, baby girl? Huh? Oh, yeah. I got the disc hooked up to the white 2135. And uh, we're gonna go disc. Let's go turn some soil. See some, some weeds and stuff growing here. That's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, got soil in them. In, uh, <laughs> got moisture in the soil, but it's dry enough. It's gonna break up those quads really nice. All right, guys, we're working. I think she's gonna work up very nicely. Here's perfect for the cold pack. I like to run over with the cold packer before we drill with the teeth. 
that smooths everything out and gives it a good firm seed bed. And then what I usually do is I plant with the drill and uh, then I'll roll obviously with the teeth up. It helps firm it up more. I think we're gonna be ready to plant when we need to plant. Usually I end up being a little late really wouldn't have hurt for the seed to already be in the ground you know a week or two ago with the cut with the, with the amount of moisture that we've had it would have been perfect but uh, sometimes that's not how it works out so <clears throat> I'd rather work it up get the seed bed prepped the correct way rather than rush it and not have a good seed bed not have a good stand so we're, gonna, we're taking our time and doing it the right way usually that pays off all right we're going to jump on the little tractor with the bush hog and uh, do some bush hog before we gotta hit the road got my mask i tried one of those uh really 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 good masks that you're supposed to wear for covid and uh it wasn't worth a crap I, it's amazing to me that one of those masks will filter out a, a virus that's microscopic. But it won't filter out pollen and stuff just floating in the air that you can see with your naked eye. Crazy. This thing here does a good job, though. Let's get the bush hog in a little bit, and then we may go over to Dad's. Roll out. of 9-11 guys got the flag flying all right yeah i think so all right getting ready to load out some hay this is some of that first cut in uh, orchard grass rye grass mix guys we got us a load of 174 on here now we can fit more but i need to go taller and uh the guy's barn we're living on height with that guy's barn so that's as much we're gonna get we'll make another load well sometime whenever he has time has helped unload it so all right we're gonna park this thing